My name is uh, Aram Ayalon. I am uh, an alderman. I am the minority leader uh, of the Democratic uh, Party in uh, the City Council of New Britain. And I'm Candace Scott. I am elected official on the Board of Assessment and Appeals here in New Britain, Connecticut. Of city property. Uh, every five years they do a revaluation and I'm sure many of you received uh, your letter uh, or your landlords. Mm -hmm. The valuation as of October this last year went up between 50, 50 to 100 percent. That means that our houses, our apartments, our rental apartments, all of them increased their value mm -hmm. by half or right. more or, or double. Or 100. <laughs> which means that the taxes, if the mill rate which is the percentage or uh, of the property tax we pay will increase also by 50 to 100%. Mm -hmm. Unless the city council voted, votes in June to reduce the mill rate. Uh, but what it means is that, for, for example, for my house, I pay now $3,600 uh, a year for property tax and will go up if the mill rate stays the same, double to six to more than six thousand. Six, wow. But it means also for our renters that their rent will go up. If you're paying, uh, say, twelve hundred dollars, mm -hmm. might go up to sixteen hundred to seventeen hundred. So, uh, since you are the uh, um, you were elected to uh, uh, be on the board of assessment. Mm -hmm. Tell the audience what's your role and what they should so know. So it'll be um, myself and Cheryl um, and another young lady um, will be there and we'll be taking um, your, looking at your situation if you choose to have your home reevaluated or if you have problems or concerns with your assessment that you received in the mail. Um, I just want to let everybody know to make sure that you come with evidence um, that shows that there is a problem with it. Um, like say, for example, there might be a real error on your assessment, like maybe it says you have an extra bathroom or um, your basement is finished, but it's really not finished. Um, make sure you bring proof of that um, and then we can look at it if you need to have someone come out to look at your house to see what's going on in your house. Um, Michael, the assessor, can come out and look at your house and um, and see what's going on, if maybe there is a reason why the cost of your assessment mm -hmm. shouldn't be as high as it is. So. And I have a question, how do they, uh, what is the deadline? When is, so, how do they actually apply for this? So now at this point, because the deadline of um, doing it other ways is over, um, it's up until February the 17th. So you have until February the 17th to come to go to, you can go to City Hall and set up an appointment um, or call over the phone and set up an appointment, but it's only until February 17th because the, the meetings that we'll be having will start at the beginning of March. Actually, we have one for March 1st. So <laughs> you mm -hmm. have to do it by, by February, by February 17th. 17th. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. So uh, we hope you not only come and uh, do, ask for a hearing for your own house, but also to come to uh, city council meetings yes. uh, and express your concern about the mill rate, which is now too high, 49.5, to reduce it by at least 10, if more, if not more. A, and uh, we meet every, other, every second and fourth Wednesday of the month 7 p.m. there is public hearing and you are welcome to come to downtown to City Hall and express your concern uh, about your situation if you are on disability if you are uh, uh, on you know uh, on pensions if you are on fixed income uh, and other uh, sick any other kind of mitigating circumstances that prevents you from being able to afford a higher taxes we hope to see you there. Yeah, that's really important, the taxes, um, because if the mill rate goes up, especially with the assessments, that there's really not a lot that we can do about 
the, the reevaluation every five years, but if the mill rate goes down, we can uh, right. you can uh, <laughs> get only a slight increase and not have a burden that you right. won't be able to afford. Right. 